Here we are again in part workbench uh, module and what I'm going to do is just really quickly go through and um, make some descriptions on some of this especially the fusions and the boolean tools so here's a cube it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters this is a new feature where they make it um, partially invisible I'm going to also make a sphere. Now, if you notice, the sphere is centered at the origin, whereas the cube comes out in the positive from the origin. So anything that's circular is going to center around the origin. If you can click one, click the other, and I'm going to do a cut. Basically, I was control holding to do the, that. Now, it won't this is new, it doesn't update until after you're finished messing with it. I'm hitting the Alt to rotate, and you can see how they cut the cube out of the sphere. I'm going to delete that so that I can then show you the next one. The reason that I use fusions, the Boolean, the combine the two, this as long as you only have two objects is good. I tend to use this one here, which will union several shapes. But I do that because in my 3D comparing experience, some firmwares end up subtracting the overlap. Um, MakerBot was one of them that did that to me. So I do that on all, all my projects, but you might be able to get away with not doing it in Marlin. So I'm going to now the cube and the sphere are one part. I'll delete that one. And I'm going to show you the intersection one. Control, hold, intersection, click out. And then that is the overlap is what's left over. And that's probably about as much as I'm going to get into for this. Thank you.